What's going on guys, it's George here from Wireless That Works and today we're going to talk about our different kinds of microphones and the uses for them. Let's get to it. So we have two different kinds of transmitters and then we have three main different kinds of microphones. We do have some special option microphones. Um, please give us a call if you'd like some information on those. But kind of the three standards are we have the low profile ear set, the B3 theatrical body mic, and then we have the standard handheld transmitter. Now, why don't we start with the, tran the handheld transmitter? Um, pretty common, you see these everywhere. Um, it syncs up and works the same as these transmitters do, just a different kind of microphone. The big thing you want to remember about this is the mic button on the back. If that's not lit up, then the microphone is muted and won't put out any sound. I'm going to press the button, it'll light up, and now no more mute, and we can have sound. Now, the handhelds, of course, always come with standard microphone clip for you to attach it to a podium or a microphone stand. And then they come with a little thread adapter. So if you have a microphone stand of the European variety, you can still use that. You see the threads on those are a little smaller. Moving on. We have the ear set and the B3. Now, these two microphones can be used almost interchangeably for different applications. They're very common in theater. The ear sets are very common for speeches. Um, and the B3s are great for, for musical theater and singing as well. Now, both of these connect up like normal. If you'd like to learn more about pack functions and stuff like that, connecting your mics and disconnecting them, be sure to go watch our, our pack video, our belt pack tutorial. Um, and now, this can be worn pretty much only one way. It's called an ear set because it'll go up around your ear and then you can bend it a little bit to contour your face. And then you can secure that with a piece of tape and then maybe a piece of tape on the back of your neck if you're going to be moving around a lot. It's not always necessary though. Then the B3 can be worn two different ways. One is similar to the ear set. It can go up over the ear and down your cheek. And you're going to want to tape that on your cheek and then on the back of your neck as well so it doesn't go anywhere. And then the other way that we'd wear that would be up. You'd thread it through your hair and tape it down on your forehead. Uh, it'll pick up from pretty much anywhere on your face. Uh, the reason we might want to do that is if you have a, an actor in a theatrical show that might be wearing a wig or a hat of sorts, that's a pretty good way to mic them. Um, you can feel free to secure these into hair, hair pieces or, or wigs or what have you with uh, bobby pins. Uh, please just don't use the, the barrette clips on them though because they'll shred the outer casing of the mic. Obviously we don't want that. Alright guys, there you have it. That is our selection of microphones and how to use them. One thing that I may add is you probably saw I was having a little trouble struggling getting, uh, getting the microphone where I needed it and getting it taped up. So always nice to have a helper who can help you with that. Make sure that the mic's not going to move around on you, nice and tight around your ear. All those sorts of things that'll make your performer more comfortable when on stage. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Have a great show.